It's me again, Ivan. I'm in my garage testing out a new voice-controlled nightlight I invented for my little sister, Isabel. Say hi, Isabel. Hi. Okay, Isabel. When you want the nightlight to turn on in your room, all you have to do is say the magic phrase, light the night. Whoa, that light's way too bright. Goodbye, light. Can you fix it? Sure. I just need to make a few adjustments. When I decided to make a nightlight for Isabel, I wanted to learn everything I could about light. I found out that light can come from lots of different sources. The sun, fire, lamps, even lightning are all sources of light. Don't forget nightlights. <laughs> nightlights, too. We just saw how light can be very bright. Like the headlights on Mom's car. Even brighter than that. Like the light from the sun. It's so bright that it will hurt your eyes if you look right at it. Uh-oh. I look at the moon all the time. That's different. The moon isn't nearly as bright as the sun. So your nightlight definitely needs to be a little more like the moon and less like the sun. I want it to light under my bed, in my closet, and in the hallway outside my room, too. I can't make one nightlight do all that. Why? Because the light is blocked. Here, I'll show you. Put your hand in front of the flashlight. See how the area behind your hand is dark? That's because the light is blocked. <laughs> By my hand! Rightio! So the light can't get to that part of the wall. That's what makes the shadow. Woof, woof! <laughs> that looks like Rascal! And, mm, there. That should be better. Give it a try, Isabel. Light the night! That's better. But why isn't it bright over here? Because we're so far away from it. Look, when I turn on this lamp, see how the light spreads out in all directions from the bulb? Mm-hmm. Now, just think of it like the water sprinkler we like to run through in the backyard. When we're close to it, a lot of the drops from the sprinkler hit us. But when we get far away, the drops are more spread out and not as many hit us. <laughs> I love to play in the sprinklers. Me too. It's the same with light. When you are close to a light bulb, the light is bright. And when you are farther away, it is more spread out and not as bright. But don't worry. Since your nightlight is going to be plugged in next to your bed, it's going to be just the right amount of light. Not too bright and not too dim. Hey, don't forget to take your nightlight. I'm going to play in the sprinklers first. Oh, good idea. Wait for me. Whoops. Almost forgot. Goodbye, light. 